Roofing Gone Wrong Porch Edition. I'm gonna take you down, show you the issues with this leak, why it went bad, and take this guy's negative situation and turn it into a positive information for you guys so you can learn from it. Let's go on down, I'll show you the issue, what went wrong here, why I got the original call. This one's pretty simple to spot. You can see it, it's a no-brainer. Looking up under here, down this wall. Yep, it is in pretty bad shape. It is completely rotted out all the way down the, the wall here. Starting at that valley section, coming all the way down. There's a second leak, it's independent, coming down the bottom edge. I'll show you both of these two leaks, what you could have done to make it not leak and how to have a successful, can you hear me over the sirens? Hopefully everybody's okay. But uh, let's go up here and address it. By the way, also another thing, OSB. It's an okay product to use, but don't use OSB if it's gonna be exposed to the elements. It's gonna suck up the moisture out of the air over time. It's gonna get moldy, nasty. It's okay if it's not exposed to the elements in any shape. That's also why it's important to vent your attic space the appropriate way. All right, so let's go over leak number one first, the bottom edge here. This is a low slope flat system. Looks like a roll roofing of some sort. Don't know the brand. Look up the manufacturer's recommendations installation practice for the manufacturing product that you're looking at using. I can tell you right now, my knowledge, the surface tension, the water here, it's gonna wick back up under if it's not sealed. Well, you would think this sticks to it. No, not always. Edge metal, when you buy it from the manufacturer, it's gonna be have, it's like an oily residue. It's not gonna stick to it. They actually make a spray aerosol can primer that you just spray over it, kind of bubbles and whatever, it cleans it, preps it, and dries up, makes it sticky, kind of tacky to you, but the material will stick down to it. It's important. If they would have sprayed that down this bottom edge, let it dry up, and then press their base coat or cap or whichever material they're using, it would have stuck to it. You would not get this where it's raising up, water just wicking up under there. That would have addressed the bottom edge. This one here, though, it's a little bit worse. It looks like Flex Seal. Let me tell you, Flex Seal is not a good roofing product. The only thing it's good for is the guy selling it. He's making some good money and you're gonna have problems and it's gonna cost you more money to fix them, so don't use Flex Seal and tar for that matter. So let's get into and learn leak number two. On this section, it looks like they just ran the roofing all the way over the edge and then they boxed in this little area because it's kind of independent. It's like, here's the fascia board. They box it in and Flex sealed it. It's not good. You can see that classic uh, splattery, looks like paint almost, but it's thicker than paint. It's it's crap. Don't use it. Sorry, Billy Mays. Oh, and tar. Looks like this area, they kind of reinforced it with some tar. Tar is not good. Over time, tar is going to get brittle, dry out, get brittle and crack, and then it's got an area for water to go in. It is not intended to be a flashing. In my opinion, tar is really only good for two things, and let me explain that right now. Tar, depending upon the year, the time of the season, where you are in the country, you might want to use a little sealer tar, cheaper, more affordable to seal your shingles down. That's one practical application. Two, it's not really intended to flash anything. What they, my opinion again, disclaimer, this is only my opinion and views, you should only use tar if you have a leak and a contractor can't get to it and you're about to get that, that monsoon coming. You smear some tar over the affected area, it buys you some time, it's not a patch. Not a patch at all. Don't use it as a patch. Or you'll have something like this, a big invitation for water to come in, start rotting it out, then it causes a big saggy piece in your wood and makes it just flow in a lot better. They may actually have a little bit of a Niagara Falls issue coming on down in here now. Not good. Now, let's learn from this bad situation. What I would have done if I was using this material, aside of the primer on the bottom, what I would have done is I would have actually removed this edge of uh, this section of gutter, quarter inch uh, zip screws, just zip it out, remove flat, uh, flat bar and remove the shingles about two rows up or so, maybe three rows from here through the valley and the couple rows all the way across here. Then you're gonna actually take your roller roofing pass down over the edge, cut into the corner and bring it up the wall, all the way up under the edge metal. Same on the second pass and the third pass. It's important to get it all the way up under your fascia metal, under your gutter, up to your roof deck. Then put your fascia back, put your edge metal back, and then shingle it. That'd be lower, this side here. More, I guess what you're after is making a solid trough of this material coming up all the way under the valley section. Instead of relying on a spray seal, flex seal, tar, they're all gonna give, they're not gonna work, it's not gonna hold up, and you're gonna have water coming in. If you would've made a solid trough all the way down there, it would've carried the water all the way out. So that's a simple way I would've done it to not leak like this. Now it's gonna cost a lot of money. 
I hope this video helps give you some idea how to flash a successful flashing or how to address a roll roofing going into a wall at your property. Again, things like this happen on a regular basis. It gives me good content for you guys to learn from. Take lemons and turn it into lemonade, I guess. That's what my mama always taught me. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And until next time, be safe and see you guys then.